Welcome to Dentamax. In this video, we're going to review how to set up scheduling resources in your practice. For context, I'm going to click on the scheduler and you'll see that I have three columns available on my scheduler. These columns are each called resources in the system. In the bottom right corner of the screen, you can set your schedule to default to the resource view or to schedule by provider. The difference between these two views is that each provider can only have an individual column unless you set up the one provider multiple times. But if you're in the resource view, the resource is not necessarily attached to the provider. So one provider may utilize the first two resources or rooms, if you'd prefer to think of them in those terms. You can set as many resources as you need in the system. Please keep in mind, however, that each resource or column can be double booked. For example, if I take this appointment and drag it to the side, I'm able to double book this column at that time. You can also triple book a column. So if you have a provider view and you only have one provider, you are able to triple book one provider's column simply by adding an appointment to the side of the other appointment that already exists. We'll get into customizing your scheduler a little bit further later, but to start, you'll want to decide if you're going to use the resource view or the provider view by default. If you need to create more resources than the three that the system comes with, you'll go to the top right corner into the setup screen. Once in the setup screen, you'll click setup resources. You'll see by default there are already three resources available. If you'd like to create more resources, you're going to go to the options menu on the left and click new resource. Once you have the resource entry screen open, you're going to name that column or resource. For example, operatory four, or that may be a room where you take x-rays or do treatment planning only. So name it according to what makes sense. You can also assign an abbreviation to that column or resource as well. And you are also able to specify what facility that resource belongs to. If you're a practice that has multiple locations within one database, meaning one set of patients, you can create a resource view that encompasses all of your locations on one scheduler view if you'd like. You can also break up your schedule into individual facility views if you prefer. If this column or resource is going to be for a specific facility, I can go ahead and assign that here. There's a couple additional checkboxes here to review. For example, whether or not you want to show this resource on the scheduler, or if this is something that is going to be run on the back end of the system if you're not quite sure if you'd like it to show on the scheduler yet. You also have the option if you're using our Dentamax texting service to exclude any appointments that are in that column from receiving any text messages. Some offices, for example, have a fourth column or an additional column on their scheduler where they move canceled appointments to, but they don't want those canceled appointments to receive any appointment reminders. This is one way that you're able to exclude a group of patients from receiving texts about that specific type of appointment if you need to. At the top of the screen, you're also able to put in an abbreviated code related to that resource that you've created. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and type in OP4. Once you're done plugging in your settings and your details, go ahead and save your changes. Please note that if you do only have one facility, you do not need to select a facility for your resource. Now that I've created a fourth column, if I go back to my scheduler, I'm able to see that in my resource view, I now have a fourth column named x-rays. If you have any further questions about creating additional resources, feel free to contact the training department at 1-800-704-8494 or by emailing training at dentamax.com. Thank you.